all right hi i would uh, wish to take you through the process or how to solve enter parameter value error therefore i am sure when you're using microsoft access database you have ever encountered this error in a query it emanates from query therefore there are three main reasons i'm not limited to three but there are actually three main reasons as to why this error occurs the reasons are as follows therefore reason number one is when you deliberately create a parameter query i would also urge you to click the link down the video to learn more about parameter query therefore it can be a deliberate action that um, you have created a parameter query and therefore if you have created a parameter query then you can get that message enter parameter because you are actually created a parameter query number two it is an error when you misspell a variable like if you have a field called age and you misspell the word age like for example you add a letter or a full stop or we give a good example if you want to write a parameter that is a variable called fees payable and then you interchange a r and a or you leave a character then that you can call it misspelling therefore when you misspell a variable you get that error therefore when you get that error go and check the highlighted like for example in my field here uh, you can see uh, I have the computer is enter parameter value resident id 2020 i added 2020 and it is not part of resident id therefore for that case it will have notified you the misspelled name the misspelled name the misspelled name will be highlighted here this is the misspelled name therefore enter parameter whatever is highlighted here that is an error therefore you'll go and check that field then number three it is if you include a field that doesn't exist therefore i will take you through that practically and show you what i mean by this therefore if you include a field that doesn't exist in the database or in the table or in the query then you will get that error therefore let's go to the practical and see let's start with uh, number one when you have a parameter like for example if i click on this query it is asking me enter occupation it is actually telling me enter occupation this one therefore this is a deliberate action it is part one i have inserted a parameter called occupation therefore i need it typed and the query cannot execute if it is not typed therefore if i type occupation like teaching then my query runs you see my query runs and produces uh, occupation teaching that is a parameter query therefore that is a deliberate action and therefore i remember to watch my video on parameter queries this is what happens i have filtered i have filtered the field occupation by inserting uh, by inserting a parameter enter occupation and that's why when i run this query of mine it is asking me to uh, to enter a parameter called occupation that is a deliberate action and that one is our number one this one uh, our number one that uh, it is a deliberate action that's why it is asking for uh, it is asking for a parameter then we go to number two misspelling of variable let's see when you misspell a variable uh, that is the field names right here these are the field names resident id location number of families uh, etc therefore if for example i misspell i left this o that field uh, then i run my query you see uh, since i have misspelled i have misspelled number of families i have left letter o 
and therefore it is number of families. Therefore, the computer will highlight and flag that error, asking me to rectify this. Therefore, I am supposed to go to where that one is, that field is, uh, this field. I'm supposed to go uh, to where that field is, then check how how is that field. Therefore, you can see the field should be written like that. And therefore, when I highlight and uh, go back to normal, I run, my query runs. Therefore, that is uh, point number two. That error comes when you have misspelled a variable. Then number three, that error may come when you include a field that doesn't exist in the query. For example, if I want to calculate the age, or if I want to calculate the age here, uh, I can include the field, this one, year of birth. It is not there. Therefore, if my age is year, it is current year minus year of birth. And if I want to calculate the age here, say I want to calculate the age here, and I have the two fields. If I will just come and include a calculated field age, put full colon, this is uh, current year minus year of birth. Uh, for instance, if somebody, that, is, that one will give me the age. If I run this one, that one will give me the age. Therefore, these are the ages of those guys. Uh, 1992 minus 2020, 28 years such. But now if I included a field that doesn't uh, exist like now, somebody may just come here and write year of birth. This field doesn't exist. And therefore, when I click that way, Microsoft Access will frag year of birth. Enter parameter year of birth. And now, Access is asking you, where are you getting year of birth? And therefore, produce for me, give me year of birth. And therefore, if I go ahead and supply year of birth, uh, if I supply the year of birth, like something like 2016, then Access will accept that work. It will subtract every year, current year minus 2016, which is an error because uh, you have supplied the, you have supplied the value that uh, Access was asking. Therefore, basically, how to solve that one is to make sure that the field that um, you are inserting here is really in this home. It is in, in this query grid. Otherwise, if it is not in the query grid, uh, you will get that error. Therefore, that's how uh, this one works. You can see now it is working very well. Therefore, that, those are the three main reasons as to why uh, you may get an enter parameter error and uh, have shown you how to, to solve that is this error up here, enter parameter value. Therefore, thank you very much for watching. Always remember to subscribe on my videos if you have not yet subscribed. Can share the video to your friend you can comment you can also leave a comment in the, the in uh, below the description that is the comment zone and i really appreciate uh, to hear from you therefore thank you very much